So they've had their food. They've had their food. And I'm going to let them out for a run. Yeah. You're going to go outside and up into the field. Oh, gosh. They're getting very excited. Easy, slow, easy, 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 easy. Easy, 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 Inca! Shit. Quiet, quiet. on you by mistake. <laughs> okay, that's one of the reasons why I have the hay left here was so that wouldn't happen. But they were just too excited. Are you okay? You're still lame. I must have trod on her by mistake, but I didn't think I did. Oh, are you okay? You'll get better. Goodness me, the drama. drama. I'm glad the horse is okay. But your screaming didn't help. Oh, you're getting better. German shepherds are notorious for being wusses. Hey, Java, leave it. Goodness me, the drama of it all. I'd say give five minutes and you will no longer be lame. You're already walking on it. Yeah. Java, quiet. Enough. Java, Java, enough. Hey, this ground is so rough and frozen. Checking up. Now, Java, behave. No, quiet. I want to see how Grasshopper's doing. I think she's fine. Now, there isn't much hay here because I'm going to bring some up. Um, also, they've had a night full of a big round bale, so they're not starving. And I'm not going to leave them out too long because the water's frozen. So there's no water for them. So I'll bring them up a bit of hay, but I'll be bringing them in later. And Grasshopper looks fine, despite her drama. That was the whole reason why I kept the straw and muck on the cement was to prevent that. But obviously it wasn't enough. But she's fine, she's moving fine. Are you fine, Grasshopper? You good girl. She's a little bit shook, having had that dramatic fall. And her screaming. How are you? Come here, Brindle. Come on. See, she's fine. She's almost completely unlame. German Shepherds are notorious to be wusses and screaming. And I really, it must have been, I must have stepped back when the horses jumped out of their stall or the shed. Look, she's absolutely fine. Okay. And Grasshopper, you're absolutely fine. They're acting like they're starving, but they're not. Honestly, there's a ring feeder in the shed and I'm going to bring up hay later. But I'm not going to leave them out too long. Come on, she had such a fright. Hey, girl. Yeah, how are you? If I talk to you, yeah. And scratch you in your favorite place. Will your daughter forgive me for being present when she fell over? Hey, girl. She's blaming me for her fall because I was standing there, but it was just, she was too excited. Uh, okay, I see there is a cut. She does have a cut on her shoulder, on her elbow rather. Okay. I'm gonna let her settle down and come back with some ointment. It's just a small cut on her shoulder, but she needs to calm down. I'll come back with some carrots and, um, some ointment to put on her shoulder or her elbow. It's right, it's on, uh, where is it? Yeah, it's on the 
it's right about there. So it's just a cut. But she's too wound up having just had her crash. And she's fine otherwise. She is just not going to let me close to her because she's blaming me for her fall when all I did was open the gate and then step on Brindle, who screamed. That's the thing. You never know what's going to happen with animals. Good girl. You're a good girl. Nope. I even two steps forward and she won't. Okay, so it's gonna be carrots and cream later. I'm gonna have to let her settle because she's not gonna let me anywhere near her. And I've gotta to tend to her wound in her own time, not my agenda. So I'll give them about an hour and come back. And she's not gonna roll on the frozen ground. So it should remain clean. And I'll bring, because she needs to settle. She's too wound up. Let me see. Will you let me talk to you? No, Miss Daisy Rose isn't going to let me talk to her either. Everybody's annoyed with me. Okay. I'll go and get carrots. And do the cream later. So, we've uh, put more shavings in here. And put a load in here now. Well, this is fine for their bedding anyway, but uh, this is anti-slip and hopefully this will uh, prevent them from slipping when they come in. Uh, preventative medicine. So all this really fine dusty stuff, uh, shavings. So, and this stuff here. Ah, busy times. Yeah. Atta girl.
Hopper. I missed where your wound is. There's no more. annoying. Never mind. I tried. I'm just gonna have to try again when I bring them in. Bugger. Okay. Come on. Oh no, you're not supposed to eat the whole thing. This is supposed to be tempting to get her to come up to me. She's thoroughly spooked. I'm gonna have to wait till later. No, I don't want to give you everything because you're not the one. Yeah, let's see. Come here. Hey, Miss Daisy Rose. You want some of that? Yum, yum, yum. No, you're being greedy. You're getting it all. I need to get Grasshopper. There you go. You want a piece of that? Bite that. There you go. Yeah. Let's just make her jealous. You're only going to get a piece. Don't bite my fingers. Nope, she's totally noived. That crash spooked her more than, oh, you just ate the whole thing. Piglet. Everybody's looking for scraps.
No, you've got tons. Come here. No. She is so completely spooked from her fall. She won't won't come near me. Nope. So completely spooked. Come here. I threw her a carrot. There. See? A good carrot. You want another one? Nope. That fall has seriously spooked her. Come on. Well, the good news is she's sound, but she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Okay, I'm gonna unstop filming and see if I can get to her without the filming. So, I'm sitting here. Hopefully, 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 Grasshopper's curiosity will get the better of her and she'll come over and have a conversation. You can always tell Grasshopper's the one with the split blaze. The solid blaze is her mother, Ishka. But I might be sitting here for a while as they pick up the scraps of hay from earlier. I don't want to bring them into the shed because she's already in a panicked state. Um, so I'm going to wait a little while before I bring them in. Miss Daisy Rose is coming up for curiosity. Hey, Miss Daisy Rose. Are you going to come up? So the good news is she's sound, except for the cut that I'm trying to dress. And I just missed it earlier by about two inches, which is very annoying. Let's see if I take out one of my remaining carrots, if Miss Daisy Rose will come over. She's watching me closely. Oh, I'm gonna reach into my pocket. Okay, there we go. You gonna come in over? Carrot. Good girl, Miss Daisy Rose. You teach Grasshopper what to do. I'm not scary. I'm really not. I'm not scary. Yeah. Come on. Good girl. There you go. That a girl. You got a fright too because she fell down right behind you. So it's a very close thing. And there's Java. No, Java, you behave. So that everybody's spooked. Come on. <laughs> Here comes Ishka. Where did you get that bit of carrot? I didn't know there was any carrot left. I'm hiding the carrot.
carrot just because I don't want Ishka to get all of it. Okay, here we go. A little bit more just for you. There we go. Quiet, Inca. Nope, oh, she's coming up. I don't have very many carrots left. Quiet, Inca. Yes, a good girl. No, that's my finger. That's not a carrot. Inca, don't. No, that's my finger. That's my finger. Fingers aren't for eating. Now, if I get you right there, you're going to love that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, good girl. I'm not scary, am I? Yeah. Yes, you good girl. Being closely observed by Grasshopper. I've got a lap full of dogs as well. One there, one here, and one zipped into my coat that's growling at the horses. Grasshopper jealous by chatting to Miss Daisy Rose. Yeah. Good old Ishka leading the way on the frozen ground still. I'm going to have to bring them in because they don't have water. Poor Grasshopper, because I was standing right there when she fell, she thinks I did it to her psychologically. I think that's what's happening. So she thinks. I beat her up so bad that she fell on the ground when I didn't. I've now made, the, we've uh, put lots of sawdust and straw down so she won't slip. But she's sound, Grasshopper. Ishka's in the front, Grasshopper's behind. Atta girl. Good girl, Ishka. Atta good girl. Yeah. You're a good girl. Yeah, you see the gate open. She knows there's food. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Leave it. Leave it. Java, good boy. Java, leave it. Good boy. Java, leave it. Java, leave it. Okay, they're walking very cautiously in. So, lesson learned. They're at least going in, because Ishka is a really good leader. So you can see the ground is well strawed and wood chipped. And uh, easy, 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 easy. She really does think I've been, uh, I'm the reason she fell. Why aren't you eating yours, Ishka? Why are you eating grasshoppers? Go over there. Look, there's stuff in that trough over there. Go on. Uh, 
spooked. Just genuinely spooked. But they've got a really, really lovely deep bed now. A deep litter bed. And a big bale of hay. And I've, the water is all chopped up. Or rather, the ice is chopped up. Good girl. Oops, somebody's just arrived. I better go see who that is. Ishka, can you not eat her food? I want to give her the apple. Good. Ishka, stop being a pig. Good girl, grasshopper. I've just got to get her used to me again. That I'm not a nasty person. There's going to be lots of carrots and cucumbers. No, carrots and apples. And you're eating her food. Why aren't you eating her food? Don't you have some food? Look, your food is... The alpaca is eating Ishka's food and preventing her from eating it. No, go away. Go on, go away. Go away. Everybody is all spooked. <laughs> you go away. Go on. <laughs> what? What? Go away. Go on. No, 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 that's for her. You go away, you've had your food. I guess I'm gonna have to put some of this in me. Now, there, look. What are you doing? You're bold. There she go. So I'm not going to attempt to get to... Look at you. Look at you. You would think you're starving and you're not. I know you're not. You're just being bold. I'm going to have to leave or cut for the moment, but we've put deep litter bedding. And it's only a small cut. It's not a big cut. It's right behind. It's right like an inch down from where I managed to get the pseudogreen. Never mind. 